Thousands of Afghan evacuees, who fled their country in 2021 are stranded at processing sites in the Middle East and the Balkans, coordinated or controlled by the US government. Initially set up as temporary, these sites have left evacuees in ineffective detention with no updates on their refugee or humanitarian parole applications for entry to the US human rights advocates have sued the Biden administration for failing to disclose essential information about their status and conditions. The lawsuit also highlights concerns over humanitarian and human rights abuses at these sites and the lack of transparency surrounding them. In response to a scam that left 146 South Asian migrants from India and Bangladesh on accredited employer work visas, AEWV, without work in New Zealand, the Ministry of Social Development, MSD, organized a job matching event in South Auckland. The event aimed to help these migrants find employment after they were scammed out of thousands of dollars for promised work. MSD had conducted nearly a dozen employment workshops to assess the workers' skills. Many of the migrants had been living in overcrowded houses in Auckland for months without employment. Several employers, including the recruitment company Accordant Group, participated in the event to offer job opportunities to the affected workers. A recent survey, the Immigration Attitudes Tracker conducted by Ipsos and British Future, indicates that public dissatisfaction with the UK government's handling of immigration, is at its highest level since 2015. About 66% of respondents expressed dissatisfaction, with just 12% stating satisfaction. While there's division along political lines, the key reasons for dissatisfaction vary. Labour supporters are concerned about creating a negative environment for migrants and mistreatment of asylum seekers while conservative supporters focus on the government's perceived failure to stop channel crossings. Additionally, the survey highlights differing views on immigration in specific job sectors, with support for increased migration of doctors, nurses, and care workers. On September 12, 2023, the province of British Columbia in Canada issued 183 invitations under its provincial nominee program, PNP. These invitations allow candidates to apply for British Columbia PNP nomination, which can ultimately lead to Canadian permanent residence. The invitations were issued through targeted draws, including categories like tech, skilled worker, international graduate, childcare, and healthcare, each with specific minimum score requirements. British Columbia PNP offers pathways for foreign workers, entrepreneurs, and international students to settle in the province as permanent residents, contributing to the local economy and labor market.